Now that we have all the soldering done to all these, we want to actually make it look nice. Um, so we're going to take and we're just going to peel off this old shrink tube. Um, I already started it, obviously. I just started sniffing at it and pulling. Well, you don't want to like get any electronics, but you kind of want to get some snips so you can kind of pull it back. So now everything's exposed. Um, we got some black shrink tube. I cut it to length, to the, kind of the same way it was. And we're just gonna slide it right on. Covering up both sides. Giving that cool look. I'm gonna take and just heat it with a lighter. It's easier with a torch. I mainly use a torch because we do a lot of soldering at work. Um, but this is just just as easy. It just takes a little longer and it's kind of a pain in the butt to work with because it doesn't really heat it fast and get the shrinking just to go immediately. So Anyway, wipe off all the this char that you get, and you go from that to that, back to looking new, and you repeat that three times. So in the end, this is what they look like, brand new looking pre-wired motors to speed controls. We got the reverse ones, and we got the straight through ones, so two of each, and I'll be continuing building the ZMR 250. So as I go, I'm gonna just give little quick videos on the different little steps because nobody wants to see the whole damn build. Sometimes you just wanna see just that section. So that was a section on how to solder the boards and put new shrink tube on your speed controls. So thank you for watching. Have a great day.